Johannes. You sent me was... That's a little better. Nice. A little slow. Go. Could have made that faster. Got hit. Unfortunate. But as you can see, the timer right now is not moving since it's loading. So that's kind of what it does. It's really good. Really useful and really helps out people who have less than you know, optimal PCs, such as myself. Yeah, sub 120, that's good. Yeah, the true final boss dies just as fast as these guys. We do have to stack our spells better, or more efficiently, so that we deal more damage, but it's still about the same. It's crazy. What are you looking to buy? Is this person we have a deal? All right. Whew. The hardest boss in this fight is, uh, or in this run, is a boss that we can't kill immediately, so... Yeah. It's a boss that we just can't straight up one-shot because uh, there's story things regarding that. That's a good room, or a good sequence. And kill you. <clears throat> nice. Got that room down. As you can see, the, the if you could, I don't know if you could see it quite clearly. On the right hand side, there is the chariot that we're going to use later. It actually, like, loads in as you're flying through the room. It's kind of... That's how fast we're going. <laughs> and there's another boss. <laughs> Nice. I see you, dog. You ain't getting me. Dogs are the worst than this. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well.
Come on, get on the platforms. Powerful, yeah. We, we're pretty broken. <laughs> the thing is, this the spell that I'm using is supposed to cost 200 mana, because it's so good. But, you know, we have the glasses that make spells infinite. So, now we're just overpowered as fuck. It wouldn't make a difference if we didn't have the glasses, because we have other ways to be just as strong, but this is what really breaks the run. Hmm. And then, of course, moving really fast with the uh, accelerator. This item, or this uh, shard is very much end game. You get this like very, at the very last part of the game. So, being able to keep it through the new game plus is just really nice. It's a very safe and forgiving run too. The only time that, like, it's almost impossible to die and get a game over, except for the one boss that I mentioned where we can't kill him. Uh, if you kill him, you get a game over screen. For plot reasons. But like, throughout the run, we're never gonna come close to dying. <clears throat> Especially on new game. On nightmare mode, you can, you can take some damage from enemies and maybe require healing, but on this one, not not as much. Not even close. Enemies, even at the end of the game, are going to deal, like, no damage. We're just insanely powerful right now. This is all early game, so it's not as... easy to tell. But you'll see once we get through some of the later bosses. Die. Oh, that's that. I messed up my rims. Do you do a lot of speedruns? Yeah, I've been getting a much, a lot more into speedrunning these days. I used to stream a lot of different stuff uh, with a occasionally speedrunning, but now I'm kind of doing a lot more. That is. <clears throat> Forgot to split there. Lost some time. Trying to make up for it. Oh, that's not good. Like, even spikes, as you saw, doesn't do a lot of damage. We're still ahead. Just lost time on that split. Because I didn't split it when I was supposed to. We probably would have still saved some time. Oh, come on. I need to probably be more patient with that. That's probably what's happening. It's also got a really large hitbox for this uh, spell that we're using. So we can clear rooms like that, just... Come on, why does that not work? Why do I keep getting hit there? It's very annoying. Uh, but yeah, I've been... I did this run. I've been learning the... Uh, the regular new game route. In which we... Just pl start the game normally and we don't... Use any glitches as well. But then they announced that we could use the load removal. Or... Removal. Load remover, and I wanted to clean up my times on this run for uh, a little bit. Plus, I have to work in like an hour, so I don't have—I really don't have much time to spend on the uh, 
No major glitches run. It's like uh, an hour and a half for me since I'm not quite experienced at it. Whereas this run is only 26 minutes. So this boss is already dead. As you saw, I was dealing thousands of damage each hit. But unfortunately, we have to wait for him to do all of his cycles. I think if you glitch the game, there's a way to skip it, but I'm not sure how, uh, how insane it is. So, very much an auto-scroller, we just kind of have to wait. And then I try my best not to spam anything, because my computer slows down a lot on this fight. So I sit here... Smack him. He literally had 1 HP there, so it doesn't matter. There we go. Man, even with all those mess ups, we still made it faster. So let's come down here. Oh, we need to talk to her. Not the bench. Alright, now we get to go ride the ride the crazy train. Yeah, look at that. You see that's probably like a 10 second load screen. Five five or so second load screen. And it adds up. It most certainly adds up. Oops. Alright, see if the train's not going to be mean to me. He's mean to me. So the, the tr boss is pretty much dead at this point. Yo, Zangetsu, do your thing. There it goes. Train boss was mean to me. Last few seconds. You just kind of have to fight it normally and pray that Zangetsu does his thing. So it's mostly Zangetsu being mean to me. Yeah, we're 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 pretty strong. The the giant hellhound that I pull out like that is just it's so good. 
You won't even see me. There we go. The crit. I think he's still a one-shot fight even without the crit, but... There we go. So now we have his spell. And we need his spell to progress through the game. So. Now we can move on. Open that door earlier so we don't have to worry about fighting things up top. It's not too big of a time save, but it's just a convenience. Doesn't really lose any time to do it. Alright, let's hope that I don't clip out of bounds by accident. I have a good run here. Oh, come on. I don't know why I keep stealing that. Hold on, let me... This part is movement tight. Let me do this real quick. And then I'll answer that. Alright, we're good. We're at the hallway. Uh, so yeah, the damage is about 2... It's on average 2k, which is one-shotting all the early game bosses. Uh, I fell down there. Fucking lame. I need to stop jumping there. So yeah. So yeah, this is a, a move or a an ability that one of the swords gets later in the game as you unlock all of the techniques. And it thankfully allows us to traverse the water sections without worrying about it. So we're just gonna wait here. All right, we got the transition. You can easily clip out of bounds with that screen transition because this sword is uh, uh, really broken. So it's really nice that we, so I'm just gonna wait there. So I 100%. Because it's a soft lock that you can't get out of. So, I do not want that at all. Get out of my way. Okay, we got this. Did I kill him? Nope. Why Sonic 6? I'm being... I'm just trying to be funny. He's a... Really? Alright, so here... We have a max upgraded reflector ray, so it actually reaches here. Normally you're not supposed to be able to do this. I'm just being funny. That's really all there is. So yeah, on average, it does two to 4,000 damage, which one-shots almost everything in the game, including the bosses. Because we got to this boss from the wrong side, we can actually spam the Hellhound during the cutscene. So he's going to die immediately. There you go. I've never played Sonic 06 either, but I know that a lot of people say it's like really, really bad. And he's being a uh, really, really, he's being a cocky boss fight. He reminds me of Sonic. Sonic is cocky, thinks he's crazy good. So I just named him Sonic 06, just to be funny. That was a really good sequence there. So now here, I do have it. What is this? Oh. I'm using the wrong- I'm- I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Don't mind me. Yeah. So this part of the game you're supposed to go pick up an item to make yourself uh, immune to spike damage. 
But because we're in New Game Plus, we just heal through it. It's a little fat. It's a little bit faster. You can. We do have the necessary pieces to go pick up the item, so we could do so. But uh, it's a little bit faster. Just go straight here. I lost like 10 seconds for getting button inputs. So invert is with the jump button. I'm also playing on new controls because I really wanted to. Let's see if we can get. I wanted to start learning with the... Okay. Okay, go this way, this way. Alright, so here... We actually need to rely on RNG. We need a drop from this item to craft one of the better movements. And there we, did, we got it. That should save those uh, few seconds that we... Uh... Is it this one? Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, that's super slow. But we should still be good. To PB. Uh, yeah, we lost a few seconds, but we're still uh, still positive, so that's good. So now we come down. The only time we craft in the run. And this crafts this move right there. So high jump is one of the best way or best movement in the game. And we're going to do a lot of vertical movement, so it is incredibly fast. Otherwise, we would have to use the invert spell that I uh, was doing earlier to invert the invert the castle, uh, and it's a lot slower. So now we can do this. Should have hellhounded there. It's my bad. Jump here. Jump here. Go all the way up here. Skip that, because we don't need it. Now we're pretty much in the light. Yep, so... <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be a really risky fight. This is the boss fight that we can't kill. We have to avoid killing him. So we're just going to hit him once. Because there's a story stuff, we can't kill him. Alright, that's it. That's enough health. And now we kill the moon, and that is the boss fight. If we, if we kill him, it's game over, and we didn't save it at all throughout the run. So it is, in fact, a run ender. Uh, it would be a run ender anyway, since I'm going for a lot more... Getting a game over does lose a lot of time, so even if I didn't or had saved the game before that fight, uh, I don't think it would have been a PB anymore, so we take those. Come over here. Kill that moon, and now we're endgame. These are going to be all of the final area. This is the final area of the game, so you'll this will like sh 
truly show how overpowered we are. Uh, after a few cutscenes. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to end the stream as soon as I'm done with this run. We are. I'm very close to... I need to get ready for work. I wonder how good this run's going to be. Should be pretty good. Yeah, so I'm skipping all the dialogue, so it looks like they're just kind of running around <laughs> aimlessly. It's a very silly cutscene when you're skipping everything. They're just like running back and forth. Looks like they don't know what they're doing. They kind of don't, but I do, so it's fine. Go through here. See, a high jump also trivializes a lot of this area. As long as you don't fall down too low and uh, get hit. <laughs> Good cutscene. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice cutscene. It's my favorite one, mostly because it looks so silly. So yeah, we just... Uh... Alright. Alright, he's uh he's dead, but he gains health based off of your money, which we've been unfortunately collecting. Thankfully we're not overpoweredly rich, so we can actually kill him uh immediately. So there's that fight. Twenty-three, so we're not on world record pace at all. So I'm a little sad, but Oh god. I'm gonna do a little dive kick there. Di dive kick straight down to the door. Kill the elementals because they're jerks. As I said, they're jerks. I used my casts improperly. Yo, this fight, this fight's easy as well. <laughs> he is King Dice. He is. He tries really hard, but he's not quite King Dice. And she's dead. So, final boss of the game. No choice. It feels really good to destroy her because I've uh, I lost a lot of time to her on my uh, actual regular run. She is a pain in the ass. Big pain in the ass. So we have, this is the second phase. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we do here. We have to wait for her to spawn on one of the heads. So it'll hopefully spawn. There we go. Lost a little time there, but that's fine. We PB it again. That was a uh, time stop skill that you get as well. I should have just did it at the beginning of the fight and played it safe, but I was trying to kill her really fast, so. But basically, if you, the only boss in the entire game, 
that can be uh, stopped with that move is the final boss. It's really, really odd, but makes the final boss killing very safe if you're not a dummy like I am. Good. 2534. PB, let's go. World record is like 2330. I think I can sub 25. Mm. 